Andy, a 3-0 victory at home to Solihull Moors today. Um, what's your take? Professional, really professional performance. Um, we didn't get our, we didn't get our uh, rewards last week for various reasons. I didn't think it was through lack of effort. I, I didn't think we probably didn't take our chances. Um, and we had a couple of big decisions go against us last week. That's gone. We parked that straight away on Sunday. Um, and in credit to the lads, you know, we've worked really hard this week um, in between the Barnet game and um, they were professional today. They knew what I wanted and uh, they delivered and they knew what these people wanted and fair play to them. Seemed to really limit Solihull to very few chances today. Today we did, yeah, today we did. I'm always nervous because we might have to play them again and I want to be respectful, you know, and humble because, um, you know, these things can come back to bite you but we did well today. We know their threats, they're a good team. Um, I will say this about Solihull because we've been there. When you bank a Wembley well, like they've done and fair play to them last week, they're going to have a brilliant day and they deserve that. It does take a little bit of edge out of you. We had it. Um, and if you remember, we, we banked Wembley and I don't think we could win a game. So, um, so we knew we had to be a, you know, on our game today as well. So, um, yeah, lads, lads have been great. I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed for them and chuffed for these people. A good few days really, deserve the win at Barnet, had to settle for a point and then a comprehensive victory today to top it off. Yeah, I mean, comprehensive is probably a bit over the top in the nicest sense. I know the, uh, the the goals and that, but we had a graft today. You know, they, they we, had to be, we had to really put the graft in. We had to be disciplined in our shape. We had to be patient and then we had to be ruthless. And uh, I think we had a lot of that going on today all over the park. Um, you know, our midfield, you know, they, they cover some ground, those boys. Fair play to them. Ashley Charles, I know you don't like singling people out, but Ashley Charles, absolutely phenomenal today. Someone that's really grown into his position since coming into the club. Ashley Charles has been a brilliant signing for us, like, 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 a lot of, like all of them have. Um, we signed Ashley Charles, he, he played deeper at Wildstone because the way they played. We've got him up the pitch, he's been excellent. And, and, and look, the, the numbers he does, running numbers, are astronomical, so people don't always see that bit of it. But um, yeah, fair play to Ashley, he's been great. Um, but so, so have all the boys, you know, they've, they've, they've really gelled together as a group. Uh, two goals for Ben Crowhouse in a week and uh, a collector's item, a goal from Jude Arthurs, who again was brilliant today. Yeah, you said it was a surprise. Jude's great. Jude goes about his business all the time, Jude. Um, every team needs, and I'm going to say this, and I'm going to, I'm going to make this known. I, I have joked with Jude, but every team needs a Jude Arthur. When I was at Newcastle, we had Joanne Kabaya and we had, um, God bless his soul, Czech Tioti. And I joke with Jude. He's my Czech Tioti. He has to go in there, break things up and do all the ugly stuff that you don't get the pats on the back for. Unless, unless you know football. And every team needs one of those in their team. Someone that does all the, all the graft and, and gets, their, gets their hands and feet dirty. And Jude does that. So fair play to him. Um, but, you know, all over the park, I thought we was good today in every position. So uh, we've got our rewards, but we still haven't achieved nothing yet, Matt. Lovely scenes at the end between yourself, your staff, your players and all the supporters who've backed you home and away this season and will continue to do so. Yeah, but great. It was nice. Um, you know, we don't always get a chance to sort of go around and thank them and it's always nice when you get a result because it makes everyone a bit more happier. A um, bit weird because we know we've still probably got some games to play. Um, but look, you know, we're keeping ourselves grounded. We're, we haven't won anything yet. We've got two more games in the league and we need to just keep this... This nice feel and this nice momentum around us at the moment and, the, and these clean sheets, they're important. Um, no one will want to play us, I'll tell you that now. No one will want to play Bromley. And you talk about it, two games left of the, uh, of the league season to begin with. Starts away to Oxford City on Tuesday. Although clubs that have already been relegated can play without pressure, really, I guess. <laughs> it won't be easy there, I'll tell you that now. Um, if we think we're going to go to Oxford, it's going to be like an easy day. Absolutely no chance, we know that. Um, we'll go there, we'll, we'll, we'll be in tomorrow, we'll be professional, we'll be ready for Tuesday. Um, the guys know my target, what I've still got to set. We set out 259 days ago, we set ourselves a target and we've got to get a few more results to get it. And then we've got our next target. So uh, as you probably know, that meeting we had all those uh, back in July last year. So we're bang on course for that, which I'm really proud about. Howdy, thanks as always. Thank you.